Hi everyone, welcome to Rodha. In today's video, I'll be discussing a number-based puzzle here. Uh, before we get into the discussion, a quick reminder about the launch of our R2 batch. It started on 13th and uh, we have had a couple of corn sessions till now. We are going to have a verbal session soon and a LRDI class by me. So if you are a CAT 25 experiment and you're looking for the right guidance in the mentorship for your preparation, then this is the place to be. So do join and join ASAP because, uh, you know, when we are running uh, classes on a daily basis and if you have a lot of backlogs, then you'll face problem to cover it up. Right. So it's always a good idea to start the if you are if you're willing to join, then it's always a, you know, a great idea to start from the day one itself. Uh, so, you know, please do join us and uh, all the information that you need, you can, you know, uh, reach to our website for the batch information that details the fees and everything. Uh, in, in the previous videos also, we have uh, made a detailed video and Ravi sir about the course, about how the batch is going to be run and um, what the, what is the fee structure like, what is the content that you will be getting, what number of books you'll be getting. Every information has been conveyed through the videos here. So you guys can watch those videos and, you know, uh, also visit our website for any queries. You can reach out to our contact number, which has been given on the website itself, right? That is www.rodha.co.in, right? So uh, if anything, please reach out. Also, you can let me know in the comment section below if there's any query as such, right? All right. So let's uh, begin with the set here. So the set here is uh, talks about there are six bands that is uh, uh, Pink Floyd is here. Then we have Led Ze Zeppelin, Iron Maiden and then M and then RS and then BS. Okay, so I'm just going to take the short forms here are in running for the all time greatest rock act. Okay, so these are basically few rock bands and who are running for the all time greatest rock act, right? The bands are given chart position in three countries that is USA, UK and Australia. All right. On the basis of decreasing order of the record sales in the respective countries. So they are given chart position on the basis of the decreasing order of the record sales in the respective countries. Right. No two band got the same chart position and no band got the same chart position in any two countries. Okay. So no two band has got the same chart position, right? And no band got the same chart position in any country. For example, if there's a band that is Pink Floyd, right? So it is not going to get the same chart position in, in a couple of countries, right? That is not going to happen, right? And no band got the same chart position in any two countries. So that is also the case, right? So for example, if, if the country is Australia, so all the bands are going to get different chart positions, right? So there are six bands. So they're going to get six different chart positions, right? In the decreasing order of their sales, right? So whoever has the highest sales will get a chart position of one. Whoever has the second highest sales will get a chart position of two and so on and so forth, right? So the chart position is going to be based on the amount of sales that has been done, right? And then we have some additional information given here, which we have to utilize to, you know, figure out the chart position of the different bands in different countries. All right. So let, let's get started with the set here. We'll come back to the questions later. So let's start solving this particular set here now. Now it says the band that had the highest chart position in USA had the lowest chart position in Australia. Now this is a fixed information. TK. So whenever you have a fixed information, you should always me make use of that, right? So the band, whichever had the highest chart position in USA had the lowest chart position in Australia. So it clearly implies that just be band ka USA mein one hoga, uska Australia mein six hoga, right? Highest is one that is the, uh, based on the sales, right? So first is the highest chart position and six is the lowest, right? So whoever has one in USA will have six in Australia for sure, right? Now further, some of the chart position in the three countries put together of no two bands is the same. So I can say here, the sum of chart position that is in each of this cells here, they are going to be different values. None of them is going to be same, right? Further it tells me the sum of chart position of Pink Floyd is 14 and that of Black Sabbath is seven. Okay. So Pink Floyd is 14 and Black Sabbath is seven. Now sum of three numbers are seven. So we know that. I've told you a lot many times also that, you know, the only combination that fits in is one plus two plus four, which is equal to seven, right? Now I want Pink Floyd to be 14, right? Pink Floyd is supposed to be 14, right? Now, if you look at the highest possible chart position, the, the lowest possible, basically four, five, and six, right? So four, five, and six adds up to, I can say 15, but I need a sum of 14, right? So if I need a sum of 14, so the only possibility is I can say three, five and six maybe right six five eleven eleven and three is fourteen so that is the only char possible chart position so pink floyd possible values are three five and six in any order right and black seven the possible values are one to four in any particular order so this is the information 
that we are able to deduce from the given set of statements till now, right? Now, Pink Floyd got a better chart position than Black Sabbath in the UK. Okay, so Pink Floyd has got a better chart position than Black Sabbath in UK, right? Now, if you observe here, what are the possible positions for Black Sabbath here in UK? It can be either one or two or four, right? These are the possible positions. Now, if UK Pink Floyd has to have a better chart position, right? In that case, the only possibility is, uh, can I say it can have a three here, the only possible combination and there should be a four here. That is the only possible combination in which Pink Floyd can get a better chart position in UK than Black Seville. Why? Because the moment I put five and six for uh, Pink Floyd in uh, UK, then all these values are better chart position. So in that case, this condition will get violated. That is condition number four. So the only possible combination is three and four here. So I'll probably just place a three and a four here. So let me just get rid of this. So three and four is the only possible combination that we can have here, right? So this is three and this is four. And maybe I'll, I can get rid of this, right? Now, if you understand one thing here, we know that whoever has got a one in USA, is getting a six in Australia, right? Now, if Black Sabbath gets a one here, because he has to get a one somewhere and two somewhere, right? So if Black Sabbath gets a one here, then it should be a six here, right? But Black Sabbath can only get a two here. So it clearly implies ki USA mein Black Sabbath ka one nahi ho sakta. That is not possible at all, right? So the only possibility is that USA has two, Black Sabbath has two in USA and one in Australia, okay? With the same logic, Agar mein Pink Floyd ka Australia mein 6 kiya, if I make a 6 here for Pink Floyd in Australia, then this should be a 1 here, but there's no 1 for Pink Floyd, right? So that means this cannot be 6 here, right? So if this cannot be 6 here, then the only possibility is that USM is 6 here, Pink Floyd, and this is 5 here. Theke na? This should be definitely 5 here, right? Now 3, 5, 6 is sorted, and this is also 1, 2, and 4 is also sorted here. Theke na? Now let's see it further. Led Zeppelin got a better uh, chart position than Rolling Stone in Australia. Okay, so in Australia, I can say LZ has a better rank than uh, Rolling Stone. Now, a better rank means a numerically lower value. Okay, this means a numerically lower value because it's a better rank. Okay, no? numerically lower value here, right? Now. Further, it says in each of the three countries, the record sales of Iron Maiden, Rolling Stones, and Pink Floyd respectively are in descending order. Okay, so in in each of the three countries, right, Iron Maiden, Rolling Stones, and uh, Pink Floyd respectively are in decreasing order. So sales are in decreasing order means Iron Maiden should have a better rank than Rolling Stones. We should have a bit better rank than Pink Floyd. Yeah, right. So these are the possibilities here. Now. Let's understand one by one what all things can we have here, right? So we, we know for a fact that if you look at UK, right? Now, if you look at UK, Pink Floyd has a rank of three in UK, right? If Pink Floyd has a rank of three and Iron Maiden and Rolling Stone need to have a better rank than Pink Floyd, so the only possibility is one and two, right? So one thing is for sure that, uh, you know, Iron Maiden has a rank of one in UK and Rolling Stone has a rank of two in UK, right? Now, if I talk about uh, Australia here, right? So somebody has to get a six and whoever gets a six, that person will get a one for sure, right? Now, can uh, Led Zeppelin get a six in Australia? No, why? Because Led Zeppelin has a better rank than Rolling Stone in Australia. So if Led Zeppelin is getting a six, then it cannot be a better chart position than Rolling Stone. So Led Zeppelin cannot have a six in Australia. So this is six bar, right? Iron Maiden already has a one in UK, right? But I want a one in USA, right? And no two bands have the same chart position in two different countries as per the first statement, isn't it? So here be one, because one is already used, so I cannot use a one again. So here be six nahi aa sakta for sure, right? Now, we know that Rolling Stone has a better rank than Pink Floyd, right? Pink Floyd has a five, so Rolling Stone got the six, ho nahi sakta, right? So this six is also not possible. So the only possible band that can have a six in Australia is this particular band here, okay? Now, if this is six, then this will be one hona hi padega, as per this condition here, right? So this condition is also sorted. I can just get rid of this, and this six bar me hata deta hu, okay? No, sorry, my bad. Yeah, this is, I'll remove, and I'll remove this as well, okay? Ab yaha pe we know that ki Australia me I'm still left with two to fill, right? What are the chart positions that are left to fill for Australia? Because every country had a different chart position. There's no repetition, right? So I'm left with a two, a three, and a four, right? And I'm left with Iron Maiden, Rolling Stone, and uh, you know LZ. Which 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 band was LZ? The LZ was Led Zeppelin. All right. Now understand one thing here. For Australia, 
right for australia we know that iron maiden has a better chart position than rolling stone that is for sure which is true for each of the three countries but for australia specifically it has been given to me that led zeppelin has a better rank than rolling stone right led zeppelin has a better rank than rolling stone theek hai ab agar led zeppelin ka bhi rolling stone se better rank hai aur iron maiden ka bhi rolling stone se better rank hai so can rolling stone have a rank of 2 or 3 is that possible क्यों अगर मान लो तुमने रोलिंग स्टोन का टू या थ्री किया ठीक है एनी ऑफ द टू सो आई नीड टू बेटर रैंक फॉर आयरन मेडन एंड लेट्स एपलिन बिकॉज दे आर बेटर देन रोलिंग स्टोन इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया ठीक है ना ऑस्ट्रेलिया में आयरन मेडन और लेट्स एपलिन इज बेटर देन रोलिंग स्टोन तो अगर टू रखा एक मान लो वन हो गया वन तो वैसे भी नहीं हो सकता बिकॉज वन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन यूज इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया सो अमंग द रिमेनिंग पोजिशन फॉर ऑस्ट्रेलिया दैट इज नथिंग बट आई कैन से टू थ्री फोर वन थिंग फॉर श्योर की रोलिंग स्टोन तो को, को तो फोर ही होना पड़ेगा जब ये फोर होगा तब ये टू या थ्री में से कुछ भी एक कॉम्बिनेशन मेरा बैठ सकता है ठीक है एनी वन ऑफ दिस कॉम्बिनेशन कैन फिट इन सो वन थिंग फॉर श्योर दैट रोलिंग स्टोन हैज अ रैंक ऑफ फोर इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया ठीक है इफ रोलिंग स्टोन हैज अ रैंक ऑफ फोर इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया देन ईदर ऑफ दिस कैन हैव टू और थ्री सो दिस इज टू दिस विल बी थ्री इफ दिस इज थ्री देन दिस शुड बी टू है दैट इज फॉर श्योर राइट नाउ If you talk about UK here, so we are left with a five and a six, right? If you talk about this row here, ठीक है इस row की अगर बात करें हम लोग, so we are left with a five and a six to be filled in this particular row. Why? Because I want all the ranks from one to six in every row. That is in every country, right? तो अगर five or six बचा हुआ है, ठीक है? And we know that uh, ME band already has a six here. ME band already has a six in Australia here, right? So six is not possible here for ME band. This is not possible. So the only remaining possibility is definitely I can say five here, right? So this is five. Then this has to be six here. Okay. Now what about uh, USA, right? So if you look at USA, we are left with positions as three, four, and five, right? We are left with three, four, and five. Okay, now. अब रोलिंग स्टोन हेयर राइट नाउ वी वी नो दैट आयरन मेडन हैज अ बेटर रैंक देन रोलिंग स्टोन राइट इन ईच ऑफ द थ्री कंट्रीज राइट नाउ इफ आयरन मेडन हैज अ बेटर रैंक देन रोलिंग स्टोन इन ईच ऑफ द थ्री कंट्रीज तो यहाँ पे जो वैल्यू आएगी चार पोजिशन शुड भी बेटर देन रोलिंग स्टोन ठीक है सो वन थिंग फॉर श्योर की अगर थ्री फोर फाइव बचा है ठीक है ना इफ इन यू एस ए आई एम लेफ्ट विद थ्री फोर एंड फाइव राइट आई राइट इट हेयर मैं यहाँ पे लिखता हूँ अगर यूएसए वाले रो में मुझे थ्री फोर फाइव फिल करना है ठीक है इधर थ्री और फोर एंड फाइव दीज आर द थ्री वैल्यूज दैट आर लेफ्ट टू बी फिल्ड सो वन थिंग फॉर श्योर कि रोलिंग स्टोन की रैंक थ्री तो नहीं हो सकती दिस कैन नॉट बी रोलिंग स्टोन वाई बिकॉज आयरन मेडन हैज टू बी बेटर देन रोलिंग स्टोन राइट सो इधर रोलिंग स्टोन कैन बी फोर और फाइव ना इफ इट कैन बी इधर फोर और फाइव बट फोर इज ऑलरेडी इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया रोलिंग स्टोन सो इट कैन नॉट रिपीट द सेम चार पोजिशन सो द ओनली पॉसिबिलिटी फॉर रोलिंग स्टोन इन यू एस इज नथिंग बट फाइव है ठीक है अब अगर ये फाइव हो गया सो दिस इफ दिस इज थ्री देन दिस विल बी फोर इफ दिस इज फोर देन दिस विल बी थ्री है ठीक है सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव एज ऑफ नाउ राइट नाउ लेट्स लेट्स फाइंड द सम टोटल ऑफ ईच ऑफ दी स्टार्ट पोजिशन सो रोलिंग स्टोन इज फाइव प्लस टू इज सेवन सेवन प्लस फोर इज इलेवन राइट सिक्स प्लस फाइव इज इलेवन इलेवन प्लस वन इज ट्वेल्व राइट नाउ वी नो दैट ऑल द सम ऑफ द पोजिशन फॉर डिस्टेंट इज इन डिट यहाँ पे हमने पढ़ा था नो टू बैंड गॉट द सेम चार पोजिशन नो बैंड गॉट द ओके जस्ट अ मिनट वी रेड इट समेयर समवेयर इट वॉज देयर येस दिस पॉइंट सम ऑफ द चार पोजिशन इन द थ्री कंट्रीज पुट टूगेदर ऑफ नो टू बैंड इज द सेम अच्छा ये यहाँ पे भी है राइट सो सम ऑफ द चार पोजिशन ऑफ नो टू बैंड इज द सेम सो इफ यू हैव अ सेवन इलेवन ट्वेल्व एंड फोर्टीन आई कैन नॉट रिपीट दैट वैल्यू ठीक है अब समझ आ रहे यहाँ पे ध्यान से थोड़ा ठीक है थ्री अगर मैं यहाँ पे लेता हूँ सो थ्री प्लस सिक्स इज नाइन राइट नाइन प्लस टू इज इलेवन नाइन प्लस थ्री इज ट्वेल्व तो इलेवन और ट्वेल्व तो दोनों हो चुका है ना विद एम एन आर एस राइट सो आई कैन नॉट हैव अ थ्री एंड सिक्स इज इंट इट सो दिस केस इज रूल्ड आउट ठीक है तो थ्री सिक्स तो एनी वेज इज फिक्स आई कैन नॉट हैव अ थ्री दे राइट नाइफ आई टेक अ फोर हेयर सो फोर प्लस सिक्स इज टेन टेन प्लस टू ट्वेल्व आई कैन नॉट टेक सो फोर प्लस सिक्स टेन प्लस थ्री थर्टीन आई कैन डेफिनेटली टेक बिकॉज थर्टीन इज येट नॉट हेयर राइट सो कैन आई से द ओनली पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन हेयर इज फोर सिक्स एंड थ्री राइट सो द ओनली पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन इज डेफिनेटली फोर सिक्स एंड थ्री सो लेट मी जस्ट यू नो गेट रेट ऑफ दिस हेयर ठीक है सो यहाँ पे आ गया फोर सिक्स एंड थ्री राइट सो आई प्लेस अ फोर हेयर दिस इज थ्री नाउ इफ दिस इज फोर हेयर देन आई कैन नॉट हैव अ फोर ऑन दिस साइड सो दिस शुड ऑटोमेटिकली बिकम थ्री इन दैट केस एंड दिस विल बी 
टू इन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस राइट सो दैट इज माई फाइनल टेबल हेयर ठीक है सो अगेन इट वॉज अ अरेंजमेंट सेट अ बिट ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स अरेंजमेंट कॉल हो जाए अलॉन्ग विद नंबर्स ठीक है ना सो दिस वॉज नॉट अ वेरी इजी सेट इट इज अ मॉडरेट लेवल सेट बट डेफिनेटली अ कैट लेवल सेट है ना ये पूरा कैट लेवल का सेट है दिस ईयर इफ यू सीन कैट दे वर फाइव सेट्स एंड देवर कपल ऑफ सेट्स ऑन द सिमिलर लाइन्स राइट तो ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कि तुम्हें ऐसे सेट सॉल्व करना आना चाहिए राइट right? All right. So I think now if the table is filled, we can mark all the questions here. So let's try marking the questions. The very first one. Who got the third uh, chart position in USA? All right. So who got the third chart position in USA? It is Iron Maiden here. So the answer is definitely option number three. That is Iron Maiden, right? I'll probably use a different color, maybe um, red color. Okay. Yeah. Which band has the worst average chart position in UK and Australia put together? Okay. So which band has the वर्स्ट चार्ज पोजिशन इन यू एस ए एंड सॉरी इन यू के एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया पुट टुगेदर ओके यू के एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया पुट टुगेदर सो थ्री प्लस फाइव एट सिक्स प्लस थ्री नाइन वन प्लस टू इज थ्री आयरन मेडन टिल नाउ हैज द वर्स्ट चार्ज ओके वर्स्ट ओके वी वॉन्ट द वर्स्ट राइट सो सिक्स प्लस फाइव इलेवन एंड आई थिंक दिस सिक्स प्लस फाइव इलेवन इज द वर्स्ट चार्ज पोजिशन सो आई कैन से एम ई शुड बी माई राइट आंसर बिकॉज वर्स्ट मीन्स इफ इफ द सम सी अंडरस्टैंड अगर सम टोटल वर्स्ट है तो एवरेज भी वर्स्ट हो जाएगा ना एंड वन इज द बेस्ट राइट वी आई रोड दिस समवेयर यहाँ पे लिखा था मैंने देखो वन इज द हाइएस्ट सेल्स सो दिस इज द बेस्ट चार पोजिशन राइट एंड सिक्स इज द वर्स्ट ठीक है सिक्स इज द वर्स्ट चार पोजिशन सो सिक्स एंड फाइव हेयर फॉर एम ई इज द वर्स्ट राइट सो द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन शुड बी डेफिनेटली आई कैन से एम ई हेयर राइट Now, which band has the highest total record sales in all the countries put together? Okay, so which band has the highest total record sales in all the countries put together? Right. For this question, we have the uh, the chart ranking positions of different bands across the countries, but we have no data about the sales of these, uh, you know, their records. Right. So because there is no data of the sales here, so my answer in this case should definitely be cannot be determined. I cannot determine what is the total sales uh, record sales of all the countries put together which band had the highest we have uh, country wise we have the segregation but we cannot uh, comment on the total uh, record sales put together right so it it is anything is possible so the answer will be cbd in that particular case here right now the fourth question the bands are given final chart positions in increasing order of their total of the chart position of all the countries put together all right so final chart position in increasing order so let me just put the final chart positions here so increasing order that means one should be given to this iron maiden right two here okay three here four here five here and six here right so these are the final chart positions in increasing order of the uh, this thing chart positions right now put together all the countries put together now suppose the record sales data from us is not available now how many final chart positions will now be different from when all the three countries are taken into account okay now if i don't consider the data of us then what will be the chart positions here let's try to figure that out here so i can say if i'm not considering us i'm not considering the first row right so this is 8 here total this will be 9 here i'm going to write it here in a rectangle box right this is going to be 2 plus 1 that is 3 here Uh, UK and Australia combined for Iron Maiden. This is eleven here, right? This is six here. Oh, yeah, my da five will be. Okay. Now, now what is the ranking as per the increasing order? Chalo, ranking de dete hain. So the rankings can be given in let's say increasing order. So this is one now, right? I hope this color is visible, right? I'll, I'll slightly increase this thing. Okay, this is one. Then uh, two is uh, sorry, three is one. Then this should be two here. So this is two. right okay that's too much of a increase probably i should just listen it a little okay yes this is two here fine because five then six is three all right six is definitely three here all right then we have eight as four probably right then nine is five and then 11 is six so how many of the countries ranking has changed right so this was six initially Now it has become four. I'll use a highlighter here just to you know give you a highlight here. So this was six here. Now it has become four. So there's a change. Five and five no change. One and one no change. Four and six change. So two bands the ranking has changed. That is P F and M E right. Three and three no change. Two and two no change. So for exactly two bands the ranking have changed here right. So if for two bands the ranking has changed. So my answer for this particular question should be definitely I can say two here. That is option number three right. 
so with this we come to the end of this particular set here this was a good set nice learning from here on the numbers as well as the arrangement here right if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below thank you